Hello everyone out there, welcome back to the Phantom Snack YouTube channel. I am back with a, another review, and this week I am reviewing Prey, released this year in 2022, starring Amber Midthunder, Dan DeLigrio, Stephanie Mathias, Dakota Beavers, Michelle Thruss, Julian Black Antelope, Troy Mundell, and it was directed by Dan please forgive my pronunciation Dan Trachtenberg and obviously is the prequel movie to Predator and the Predator franchise in total obviously I was really hopeful for this movie I'm a big fan of the franchise because one I have this guy the Predator from Predator 2 I have this guy he sits back here Back here by the xenomorph that I forgot to prop up before filming this. Come on, stay up. But anyways, this is the newest film of there where it's about a young Kamakche woman warrior sorry if i'm mispronouncing kamakchi it's hard for me to pronounce things please forgive me i'm an american i'm a white fucking american doesn't know how to pronounce shit but i'm trying my best but she uh wants to be a hunter and stuff like that and her brother doesn't believe her brother believes in her but the rest of her tribes may the tribe is like why are you doing this it's almost like a disney movie where like <laughs> she wants to do something but they're all against her which is one one of the minorest problems that i have with this movie for the most part this movie's fucking great but then she has to protect her tribe and her brother from a invading space alien aka the predator so now obviously i said i really fucking enjoyed this movie this is probably tied for the first bet for the best predator movie it it honestly really fucking tries this movie. It 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 really tries hard on character, which not a lot of the Predator movies did anything fucking impressive with character before. And it takes a new idea for this Predator landscape, obviously being set in the past times and stuff like that, where they don't have as modernistic weaponry. But it, it's still really impressive that they were able to capture this and even cast actors of native american descent i don't know if they're correctly the tribe or anything like that but at least from my quick research that do that and most of the actors do a really good job in this um amber mid thunder really really surprises you as her performance of nairu nairu um, she, she, a lot of the film is not necessarily dialogue, which I like. A lot of it is some fucking breathtaking, breathtaking cinematography and direction through these scenes of either action or just enveloping this beautiful landscape and stuff like that. And she, her facial reactions really sell it. And her performance in this is one of the highlights. Most of the actors are doing a good enough job here. One of my problems with this film is the dialogue, because it does seem a bit modernistic. I understand that having them speak English makes a lot of sense, just for us to understand that. And I don't know if that was accurate to this tribe specifically. But, you know, that that's obviously... That's obviously, you know, one of the things is, like... That, that did throw me off a bit. I don't know why it did, but the, I don't know. The fact that their dialogue seems a bit too modernistic for my liking did kind of bother me, but it, it, was, it was mostly fine. And uh, I really do like how you follow this character, the, the, this character, the main character, Nehru, as she evolves more as a hunter. She wants to be a hunter, and it's like, yeah, it's it's like a female empowering thing, kind of. But it, it, there is scenes that do prove that she is worth hunting. It's just there are some setbacks because, like any human, you know, 
you're gonna fucking face adversity when a fucking tiger is about to, a mountain lion is about to fucking rip your throat out, like, that kind of shit can happen. And she definitely does prove herself to her tribe and stuff like that, and I really do think it's executed well. I just wish there was maybe, you know, either a different conflict or something like that, but I feel like it's executed well enough, and the movie isn't all about that. I really do, but I did think that the journey of the character and the acting is really well. And also, her brother, Tabe, played by Dakota Beavers, they, they they also have really good chemistry as brother and sister, and it it really does show. Uh, obviously, as I said, the cinematography and uh, colorization and all of that, really fucking well done. And the directing is really fucking well done in this. There are some great, breathtaking land shots of landscape shots of everything, and the action scenes are also captured really well. The CGI effects, well, not the best, relatively hold up fine enough to where it didn't bother me. But the Predator is practical in this one, which I am happy about. They did make a practical Predator in this. And let's speak about the Predator. Obviously, I like how each film has added some new lore, <laughs> except Predator, the Predator. And in this one, they're not fucking seeding for plants. They are hunters in this. They're not trying to weaponize autism or anything like that. They are hunters in this, which I, it is a hunter in this. And I do like how this predator seems a bit more primal and not as advanced as the other predators were. Because obviously, it's a couple hundred years, maybe they advance in technology. But you do get some... Uh, different predator weapons because there isn't no plasma caster in this is plasma caster is a different thing which is still a pretty cool idea and how that thing works and the design of this predator has like a bone mask and stuff like that which is cool and he has like a redder design to him and especially the way that they make him feel in this he feels a lot more primal in that the fact that a lot of what he does is like with his own hands and Unlike the last Predator movies where you think, like, they, they like, play the situation to the smartest that they can, this one tries to just full force fucking just run in and just kill things super fast. He goes through killing this entire, like, French bear trapping troop, which is a very entertaining scene. And he also has a lot of new cool Predator weapons, like a shield and shit like that, which is really fucking cool to see. And, uh... I, I do like how, even though this this thing is a predator, I like how it also relates to the bear trappers of how these people come in with advanced technology, hunting and ruining the ecosystem and hunting down these other people. It subtly relates to that, but is never fully spelt out, which I really do like. And yeah, the action scenes I think are uh, really well done in this. I also do like that the predator takes a lot of damage, like... He gets attacked and he bleeds from a bear attack and stuff like that. I like that, but it shows that even though he may get attacked, he fucking is not going to stop until it's dead. Like, I like that kind of shit, how even though it gets harmed, it still goes right fucking back in for the punches. And especially how the action scenes are directed with the with the tribesmen, you know, attacking the Predator and stuff like that, and, you know, the characters finding interesting ways around the Predator's certain weaponry, like the thermal vision thing, there's a new spin on how they figure out how to get past that, and especially since Nehru knows medicine, she can, like, heal herself in some scenes and help other people. I really do think that those scenes really work well, especially with the direction and the cinematography. The action is captured fantastically, and while the story is not the most interesting to me, I feel like it's executed enough to where you follow the characters and you care what's going to happen because these actors have good chemistry. And the dialogue did throw me off a bit, but it's fine. It did that, that didn't bother me a whole lot, and... There's also some great fucking dog acting in this from the from the dog they have, which is just great. I love seeing that great dog acting, and he's really cute in this. He he does not get killed by the predator. Okay, let me just phrase that. But yeah, I I really do think this is a great return to form for the franchise. It really goes back to one predator. There isn't some convoluted bullshit retconning. There isn't. They. Go back to the more simplistic roots of it, and I like what they add onto it, how this Yaucha is, like, more primal and stuff like that. And the design of it is cool, especially because its mask isn't covering its entire face, so you see, like, the bottom tendrils of its jaw open ever so often, and that's cool. 
And what they do with the, the, the cloaking vision where, like, if he gets hit, it, like, shows up. Like, he reveals himself if he gets hit and stuff. I like that idea and how you can move around this. And when they're introducing the Predator, it also, you, like, see, like, things climb on it. And they introduce it in a very intriguing way and make it an intense build-up to where it's like, how are they going to beat this guy when he kills an entire group of people like that? I think this is a really good return to form for the franchise, and even might wrangle my opinion for the first one, because this one was really fucking good. Like, I think most of the acting is top-notch, the effects are pretty good, the direction and cinematography are fucking fantastic, and I really do like that this film has really good pacing. You never feel, like, nulls in the plot, and it doesn't, like, try to trick you like the first film did with, like, the Predator attacking them. You know the Predator's out there right from the beginning and you see it kill people and she know and she knows it as well, just other people don't believe her. And she knows it as well and she takes it on her own to go fight it and she does face it down at the end and kill it, which I really do like. And she even explains like, you know, my greatest weakness is nothing sees me as a threat, but I am a threat. Like, I like how that's used at the end with the Predator and stuff like that and the predator character is expertly executed and yeah I, I i recommend that you see this if you're a fan of the franchise you'll really enjoy this and it, it and it is more horror than the other movies are i would say this is definitely a more return to horror than any of the other ones except maybe the first one but yeah i'd say this is the closest to horror in the franchise which makes me like it a lot and it does have connections to other movies in the franchise which is like a little connection and as I said in some of the other reviews that I did for the other Predator movies, I feel like the callbacks did get in the way of it. There's only two callbacks in this, and it didn't bother me that much. Like, when I heard it, I was like, oh, okay. It, it didn't bother me that much. I was like, okay, cool, callbacks. They don't have a get-to-the-chopper thing, because that wouldn't even make fucking sense in this. So I'm glad they didn't try to fucking shoehorn that in there, but... Yeah, I definitely recommend this one. If Even if you're not even a fan of the franchise, I would say give it a watch. It's a nice, diverse film, you know, with Native Americans. Obviously, I don't, I don't know if the director... I don't think the director is Native American yet again. Yeah, he's an American filmmaker. But I feel like it is a good, you know... I feel like it is a really good uh, continuation of the Predator franchise, and... If this director continues to direct them, I'll give them a watch because I thought it was really fucking good. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe down below. Share your thoughts on the film. I always like to see those. And uh, if you have any other movies you would like me to review, please let me know. And I will have a second review out this week. Sorry if this one was a bit late. Been busy. I have no excuse. I have some excuses. But, uh... Yeah, the, the second movie review out this week should be Bullet Train, so look out for that one. Uh, but yeah, I will see you all next time.